Hey, it's Jeremy. Welcome back. So I've decided that I'm going to stick to what I've said and I'm going to make a video showing everything that I purchased from Henry Bendel. I've decided to call it a haul just because it was all purchased between Black Friday of 2018 and my birthday, uh, which was January of this year. So I'm just going to jump right into it because I really am a little overwhelmed by how much I've almost well, I have committed myself to showing you. So I'm just going to start. The first thing um, that I have is my Henry Bindle cocktail tray. And I got this on the last, like the last week for sure, but it was like the last two days or so that they were in business. And my sales associate told me that she, uh, she called me and she said that she had something in that she wanted me to see. She had three of these, I only purchased one. I should have purchased all three. Um, I just think they're really, really nifty and I like to put all of my, um, bad charms on here so I can show you what that's like after I do this. Um, and then here are the charms. So I'm just going to jump into that. And if you hear anything rustling, it's my little minpin Mason because he is very nosy so he's gonna be making appearances from time to time Harvey is also my other men pin but he likes to mind his own business and he has um it's like a leather I don't even know how to explain it it's like a leather box and it's like a, a giant box and it looks like a coffee table but it's got um, a top and it's got it looks like a big shoe box with a hole cut inside and it's large and he can go inside. I think it's like a cat house and not exactly a dog house, but it's like an indoor cat house. So I have like a little uh, Tempur-Pedic cushion that I cut to size and I um, wrap her fabric. And then we put a little blanket inside for him. So he likes to go in there when it's rainy like today and he likes to just do his own thing. So I got this. And this is to match the Empire tote that I have. And I've already shown, let me just get up. I've already shown this in one video, but um, I bought these together so that they could go together like a set. And this was, I got this like on the last couple days also. And you can see that it's kind of, it's got markings on it from where the sticker was but I just really couldn't turn it down and I like the way the hardware sounds which I guess I'm like one of those people but whenever I watch bag videos and people have all these little clicks I always like how they sound so I got this bag charm and I don't know what it's called but I know that it goes with the Empire tote and that it came with um a little coin purse so I don't know another one that I got is this is the Henry Bendel um, it's a bag charm obviously and it is the seven I just did this <laughs> like two seconds ago. It is the, um, let me just cheat. It is the Henry Bindle 712 Fifth Avenue. So this <clears throat> bag charm has the store on it. And let me just get that for you. It's got the store on it. And then it's got the 712 and then the 5th Avenue. So it's 712 5th Avenue. And I really, 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 really like that bag charm too. I like the bag charms that are like, uh, I like bag charms that are, they add a pop color. I like bag charms that have like some type of noise or sound. And I also like bag charms that are miniature bags. So like, I don't, I mean, if you knew me in person or if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have um, 
like I have a miniature Rebecca Minkoff handbag and it's a bag charm. It's um, right here. <laughs> Not sticking to the plan, but oh well. But you see, it's a miniature. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a miniature handbag. It's like a little backpack. And I just love it. And I just love, I also love the way the metal sounds on here. And I just keep this in a box. And I put it on a shelf. I'll have to go through one day and show how I keep all of my stuff organized. Um, and then I also got this. 712 Fifth Avenue lipstick. And I think that it's trying to zoom in for you, but yeah. So I also got this and I like this a lot. It's really cute and adds just a pop of color. And I think that I like the way that, I know that I like the way the glaze looks, the enamel on the lipstick. And I'm sorry, I'm fighting with all of these allergies. Try not to sound like I'm just sniffing my life away, but I swear. Um, now this one, I really, really like, and it's really, really cool. And I'm going to turn off my ring light so that I can show you. It is a taxi cab, right? And it is so cute because it's actually a light. And I think that is just so cute. Beep, beep. And like, I love it because I just have this like vision of it I don't know if you've seen Totoro, but there's a cat bus, and I just had this vision of this being like flying through the air, and I don't know. It also reminds me of the taxi cab on Roger Rabbit, which I don't know why, but I loved that movie as a child. Um, and if you play Patty Cake with my husband, it's a wrap. <laughs> I also have this. Okay, now I really, really like this one, and I, I remember when I was looking at it, there used to be another bag charm that Henry Bindle made, and it was called the Remington, and they it was a tote, and it was like a little handbag, and it was miniature, and it was it had a, an actual full body strap, like I could wear it as a crossbody. That's why I didn't buy it because it was about this big, and now I realize that I should have because I really liked it at the time, and they kept telling me how ugly it was. But this miniature backpack is just the cutest thing in my opinion. And I just love it because it is a full functioning backpack and it's even got the little uh, hook on the bottom so that I could put another bag charm, which I need to get a miniature bag charm for my bag charm. I know I have a disease. And I keep it uh, stuffed with the stuffing, but if you wanted to, you could take it out and you could put anything in there, like um, just like a small, small hygienic item or like a small, uh, headphones or you could put a, a vape. You could put like a one of these in there. You could pretty much do whatever you want. It would be really cute. I love that. This is not a bag charm, but this is a dog toy. And I got it to put on the tray just because it kind of gives it a little character. And by the time everything was, the prices were falling. I mean, it got to a point where it was just take it. Um, this is not a bag charm, but this is a piggy bank that I got because they came out with a limited edition piggy bank. And you see, it's got all these cute little things on it. So I decided, you know, I have to have that. And I jumped at it and I'm glad I jumped at it because they pretty much sold out of those. They kept coming back on the website a little bit, but like in, when I went and got it in person, they we were sold out of those really quick. Um, this is a luggage tag that I got and it has just my initials on it. JGN, Jeremy Garza Knuckles. And on the back, it's got the iconic stripes. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I got all of the pins separately from the store. And then I <clears throat> got the tag on 
like a really, really good deal from the website. Let me see here. And this, I really like this. It is the hat box. And I really like it. Because if you open it up, it's actually a hat box inside. So I know that's like breaking my camera on. It's hard to catch it. But it's actually a little hat box inside. And these are just little, little trinket bag charms that I think like on the right piece, you just add it on and it just gives it a little detail that if everyone else in the room had the same bag would set you apart from everyone just a little bit. And as I guess you can see, I am a fan of the enamel bag charms. They feel very royal to me. And when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. That's a queen bee and I love it. It's got enamel rhinestones and it's got like a, some type of like synthetic hair or something, I don't know, but it's really, really nice. I like it. This is one that I got and I really, really like and I think it's just really, really cute. And that is just, like the summer colors are just really, really good on that one. I know that it's kind of not wanting to pick up the color right, but I really, really like that. And I got it to go with this, which I'll show you in a little bit, but yeah, it's like a gold plated or something plated and uh, leather. So I like this and I think on the right, the right summer piece, it would just, really pop um i got this this is the saffiano wrapped perfume holder and i got this because though i don't like the perfume yeah no it smells like someone who smokes cigarettes trying to cover something i think anything that has uh alcohol in it when you put it like a cheaper perfume or cologne or body spray it has like a smell like somebody who smokes cigarettes to me so my goal is to find a bottle that I thought it'd be easy but I want to get a bottle that fits inside of this so that I could continue to use my Mario Badescu rose water because I'm not always trying to put this inside of my bag oh you know what yeah I'm not always trying to put this inside of my bag but if I could just fill that little bottle I would be very happy. So there's that. Um, let me see what else I have over here. Oh, this is not even Henry Bendel, but I put it in this bag because I have so many extra bags that I got from Henry Bendel. I should show you, but I don't want to get like jumped in my bag stolen, uh, dust cover stolen. But I got this and again, it's just, you know, Jeremy Garza Knuckles at this point, you know me. And I just got this because it was uh, like $10 on Michael Kors website and monogramming is I think like $5. So for $15 to have a monogrammed black Safiano leather uh, luggage, luggage tag, honestly, do it. You'll probably end up using it a lot. Uh, let's see here. I got this because it reminded me of the Dallas Stars and I'm also Jeremy, so I should probably have some J stuff. And I really like it, I think it's cute. It's not squishy, it's hard. I like it. This one is a simple one. It is just uh, some keys, mixed metal, silver, gold, and uh, rose gold I like this one because you can pretty much put it on anything like your hardware doesn't have to be like specific to specific to a specific color um, this is for like a scarf or 
you can like put it on a bag and then clip a charm to it if it doesn't fit. I got that. This is like the charm of charms. I would only wear this one in the winter time. And I believe that on the site, I'm sorry for making my camera shake so much. I feel so disrespectful. On the site, her name was Natasha and she, um, this is the only time you'll ever hear me talk about a bag or a charm or a wallet or anything and give it a gender. But she is, I think Russian because that's what my brain tells me. And she had just gone shopping and people said that it looks like, uh, I can't tell you the name of the movie because, what is the name of that movie? With the little, the little white thing, it's like a puppet and it's like a bad, a bad guy in the movie, it's a horror movie. Anyways, it's what she looks like. Someone told me that and I was like, well, you're right. And then this is something that my brother got me. And it is a, good luck getting it to load, but it is a, uh, a Henry Bendel, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry about this. I promise I'll figure this out about. It is a Henry Bendel Safiano leather bracelet with the iconic stripes on the inside. And I am really, really, really happy with that. He got it for, for me for my birthday and I was very, 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 very shocked and thankful. Not because like my brother's not nice or anything, but like they had already gone out of business and I just didn't know how he pulled it. Um, I got this toiletry bag and I'm really really happy with it I just opened it for the first time right before I made this video and it's got like a nice frame on the inside so that you can like really pop it open and I also got this monogram because I believe monogramming was either free or it was like five dollars so what the hey and it came in like all of these things came in a nice dust cover <clears throat> so that made me happy I got this which is the uh, zip around neoprene cooler and on the inside it has the like metallic material so that like if your ice melts in there or something it's not going to actually damage anything and it's neoprene so I mean this is what a, I believe diving suits are made out of so I got this and I will just you know take it with me to the pool you can take it with you when you go to the park to drink outside, you could take it with you just to walk the dogs at the park if you wanna have something that I think it's like nasty and muddy, you can just literally hose it down and just set it out and let it dry. So I got this. Um, I know I've already posted a video about it, but I also got this Henry Bendel West 57th Miniature Trunk Clutch. And I still love this so much. And the girl who I purchased it from, like, I just keep following everything she does on the internet because she's actually really, really cute and she does uh, really good reviews and she gives really good information on skincare, clothing, um, you know, how to pick high priced items and which items you can get like, uh, like Zara dupes, you know, of designer things. And she gives really good, uh, excuse me, she gives very good, just, you know, what I'm doing and what's in my bag videos. And it's just, I'm, she's really, really cute and trendy. And I, I don't mean trendy and like, um, follow her way. I mean trendy in more of a leadership way. Everything she does and everything I keep looking at on her videos, she posts it. And then I realized like not soon after that somebody was onto something. So I really think that you should go watch her. I'll actually link her video or her account on here just because I really, really, really want other people to see her because she was really, really cute to me. Um, and let me show you how I actually organize all of these things on my tray so that I put them on a shelf in my room because people were asking me, so how do you keep all these things organized and you know, all of that, but I'm actually really good at it because I, I'm pretty anal about it.
But yeah, so then I keep it like this and I put it on the shelf and then I just kind of feel through and rummage around them because I pretty much picture what I want on my bag before I just go digging. Um, again, I did get this also, this tote. And then I am going to take you um, into my bedroom and I'm going to show you, excuse me, I'm going to show you the trunk that I bought and the jewelry box that I bought. And um, that will pretty much be the end of the video. I did get things like this with some purchases that I made and some other boxes that I kept. Um, I got a lot of bags and tissue with the purchases that I made. And then uh, on my last day when I was there and I, because I had purchased the big steamer trunk that I'm going to show you in just a moment, when I left, they asked me if there was anything that I would like because my store was closing and they were going to ship everything back. And I said, if you had any dust covers, that I would take some. And they gave me like... 20 literally 20 quite literally 20 extra dust covers and they were from the largest size to the smallest ones so i'm pretty much set because i have a couple bags like my valentino which i showed you that i have inside of a henry bindle bag even though it's not henry bindle for the simple fact that i like the henry bindle dust covers more than i like the dust cover that the bag actually came in so I am going to um, run to the other room and I'm going to show you my other pieces. So just bear with me one moment. I also got this jewelry box and I got the jewelry box at uh, around Christmas time, I guess. And this is the key that comes with it functional it locks and then I also managed to get my hands on the large jewelry trunk and I have it in my bedroom right now but my plan is to most likely uh, incorporate it into my uh, the handbag room or maybe even my office but we just have to do some moving around of furniture and other pieces. But I really like this and it's got uh, the gold plated hardware. It's got Safiano leather on the outside and the handles. It's got, um, I want to say uh, like a, a suede on the inside, but it, no, it's a microfiber inside. Um, and it's got really good sized drawers. These are the molds of my jaws from when I had jaw surgery. If you would like to know information about that, you should let me know and I'll post a video. I got a Lafort one. Here is a secret compartment where I hold my Henry Bindle poker chips. I have, this is the key to the trunk. I have this key, which the store had because they thought it was the key, but it's actually just a key fob, but I keep it because it's special. This is the receipt from where I paid for the trunk. I do like that it has its secret compartment. Um, this is where you're supposed to put your watches, but my watches sadly were too large, so I was going to try to see if I can get different cushions or figure out a different way to put them in here. Um, oh, it smells so good inside when I open these drawers. This is for like all of your tennis bracelets and stuff. This is where you can put charms or anything. Um, a lot of these we haven't even started using yet. This is where you can put your watch bands, which as you can see, we are utilizing. This is where you can put larger items. This is where you can put larger items. Let me see if that goes three, two. This is another one where you can put larger items. This is like a big cubby. This was the only damage that was done to the trunk. 
it was also the reason why I was able to talk them to the price that I got. Um, and then these are just some pockets, which I like, and it's so, so nice. And then these are uh, necklaces one on here, but as you can see, people mess with these. But I was thinking to myself that if it actually bothers me in enough time, maybe I will consider having a professional um, repair that. But as of now, I'm just loving it for what it is. And I will figure the rest out as things go. I just knew I had to have it. What I do with it, I will figure out later. I do appreciate you guys watching everything about my haul. Um, I'm sure it wasn't the most entertaining or informative because I didn't have a lot of things like specs. But I did want to just show you because I just think these things are so beautiful and keeping the Henry Bendel name alive is something that I'm really interested in doing. If you have any questions or if you would like any just information about any of the pieces that I've shown, let me know and thank you.